So that would be a video two videos ago, technically. I don't know. I just ended the last video. But welcome to today's video, guys. Hopefully you're having a good day. I just got back from doing a detail a little bit ago with my brother. So if you guys want to see a very, very rare occurrence, I'm wearing shorts. Yeah. It's just too darn hot out here. I don't own any normal shorts. I have these gym shorts slash swim shorts slash whatever shorts because I'm just not a shorts guy. That's just me. I've got extremely white legs and I just don't like to form that. I mean, you can probably tell just from the contrast of the sunlight coming through my door right now. How just, yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. But uh, looking at my door right now, I have a package and it appears that it is probably my clear coat. So I'm going to go outside. I'm going to finish cleaning up this bumper, give them both a good wipe down really quick, move the Del Sol forward, Miata back so it's out of the yard. Um, and then I'm going to paint the bumpers because it's about that time. Yeah, 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 oh. Yeah, buddy. Got the gun cleared out, ready to mix some paint. And then I got the bumpers and the garnish wiped off with wax and grease remover. These are all ready to be shot. Threw that up because the wind is blowing that way. I don't want overspray to get on the Del Sol over there. Got the car cover over the Integra, so this is probably as good as we're gonna get it. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing an actual paint respirator, um, it broke the other day. Uh, the strap, like the elastic strap, just snapped off of it. So I'm just trying to not breathe while I do this. Got these all finished up. The only issue I ran into is um, I didn't clean one of the things too well. I don't know which piece, but it flung like chunks of something. So this one is on the very top coat, so I think this can be sanded out. This is just like air bubbles. Uh, the bumper, the rear bumper got a little bit of like specks of something. So, I mean, it is what it is. That was my mistake. And uh, as for the front bumper, it came out pretty good despite, I mean, other than the front bumper being all chunked up just in general from just existing, uh, it laid pretty well on the front. So we're not really, uh, no really, I don't really have any complaints. Sorry, I can't even talk right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come back out here after a while and let these things just cure up for a bit and kind of see what they turn out. I'm gonna definitely have to cut and polish them. Um, I can see orange peel already forming, but you know, I mean, that's just pretty much inevitable. So it is what it is. Next day now, so Del Sol, I just kind of got a bug and uh, decided to put it back together this morning. My brother was doing a detail, so I couldn't pull in this uh, guy's Integra to get some work on it, uh, but that's all said and done. But yeah, uh, so I'm gonna pull the Integra in here in a minute. I actually got my master cylinder in from Hush Performance, my replacement one, so I just slapped that in this morning while my brother was doing a uh, detail on a scat pack and then I also had extra time to kill so I finished putting the Del Sol together um, It is extremely extremely dirty at the moment because there was a really nasty storm that came through last night for all of 20 minutes uh, But other than the dirt this car looks so good all one color again I'm really hyped on it. I love this color actually like I was so against it at first because it didn't turn out very good at first and the shading and like the shadowing on it didn't look cool, but I'm really digging it. So uh, I need to adjust the rear coils down a little bit though. I keep forgetting to do that, but this is not the topic of the video. This is the car that we're gonna be uh, servicing 
in the rest of this video so he's got a whole bunch of goodies and stuff good a whole bunch of parts in here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it into the driveway under what's left of my uh, cover and uh, we'll get started it is stinking humid it is hot like I said we had the monsoon last night it's a little cloudy overhead so it's just freaking nasty Oh man, it is hot in here. Oh, oh, this guy's very tall. I'm not. Oh, the steering was on fire. Ow. Ow, tits. Oh boy. All right. Well, um. So right off the bat, let's turn the AC on because he said that it overheats with the AC on. So let's see if the fan's working. Uh, the one fan is on, not the other. I don't remember which one's the cooling fan. I think the big one right here is the cooling fan. But it does look like the AC fan is on. So uh, I think it might just have some air in the cooling system or something, but we'll, we'll burp it before we uh, take care of all this. But other than that, I'm not too sure why it would be overheating with the uh, AC on, unless it's just heat soaking too much, but I don't know. Definitely sounds like it needs a valve lash adjustment though. Some new ground. Well, the first order of business like usual, get this car up off the ground, get the wheels off. So I'll pull out all the stuff that the guy has for it, but it's uh, pretty much gonna be pretty straightforward. So we got uh, header, full exhaust, full body coilovers all the way around, new wheels and tires, and some front brakes, and I think some rear, rear brakes as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, shouldn't be too hard. The exhaust should be directly for a DA, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but we will see it is quite a bit of work to get an exhaust on a DA you have to take the Cross support bar down there on the freaking subframe brace across piece whatever you have to take that all off uh, Obviously the heat shielding there's always gonna be issues with these bolts because they like to get rusty um, And then yeah DA's usually end up having to notch the stupid uh, subframe up here to fit the header so we're I don't know, we'll see. Well, I guess we should just unbox it and see what he has to begin with. So we got a two-piece header, looks like a DNA uh, full system because that's the header, that's the mid-pipe section, rear section. Uh, this is a new air filter. He does have a cold air intake, but um, I told him he's gonna get the best airflow and the coolest air on these cars with the stock system and he actually has a stock air box which is really rare anyway so i told him i recommend he just hang on to this keep the stock one for now if he really wants this one to put on be put on i can do it but uh, i think we agreed to keep the stock one on but yeah so header exhaust air filter these are all the brakes uh rotors and stuff and these must be the coilovers yep so uh yeah i suppose we can get this thing up and just get right into this. I mean, it's not going to get any cooler, that's for sure. Change out this air filter. Ooh, that's a tight fit. Yeah, it's pretty dirty, I'd say.
So we ran into a slight problem. Um, brakes are done, at least on this side, but the coilovers do not fit the coil or the shrub works. And I think the reason for that is because he must have ordered coilovers for a DC Integra and not a DA Integra. Because these are just straight up too small for these coils. So uh, I texted a guy, went on a response. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep on pushing forward, get this other side of the brakes done, in the front at least, and then start working on the header. Heat shield is off, that was a really tight fit. Um, so now I'm working on getting the O2 sensor out, then I'm gonna disconnect the bottom brace down there and uh, start taking the, uh, whatever, the exhaust off the header and then pull the header itself off. You should be able to drop it, hopefully, straight down. I'll, I might have to remove the subframe. Um, it's been a while since I've done that, so I think that's what's gonna have to happen. Okay, that was my first time taking the stock headers off um, of a bone stock, 100% original. Like everything in the way, car. That sucked. Zero out of 10, don't want to do it again, but I was able to do it. It was just a really tight fit. Just had to shimmy it out, and it didn't help that this freaking tab was stripping, like the bolt right here was stripped, so I couldn't take this other freaking bottom part of the shield off. But it's out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this other one in really quick. <sighs> Goodness, hopefully, hopefully this fit. Wow, those are disgusting welds. That is ugly. That's like MIG weld grinded down. Holy moly. Look at that. That's so bad. Can't believe this is sold. Like, people actually, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's just, that's not good welds. So the header doesn't even begin to fit. I don't know, it's not like the studs are like moved over at all on VTEC heads as compared to non-VTEC heads because all B-series headers are the same. So the only difference is the height of the, the runners and stuff because VTEC heads are taller. But this thing isn't even beginning to line up the bolt holes. Like it's off by like a solid eighth inch on every single hole. So, fuck my life. This just keeps getting better and better. Oh my gosh. And if he gets almost any other header, I like 100% guarantee I'm gonna have to cut the subframe up to fit that header too, so. This is why I don't like doing this type of stuff. I love DAs, but you know, it's just like, you either go all the way in or you don't go at all. So either you do a full exhaust, switch to, like upgrade to a traction bar and do all that, or you hack the car up and be like, I don't know, you just, yeah, it's one or the other. There's, there's not much in between unless you want to ha start hacking stuff up, which is really ghetto, and I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, well, got to text him about this and wait for a response on that as well. So I actually just looked it up on eBay, and the brand on here is something like El Taco L or something random like that. I've never heard of it. I thought these were DNA racing because there's a DNA racing box uh, right over there for, you know, the, the rest of the exhaust. But this is honestly quite pathetic on how far off all these bolt holes are. Each one is like two tenths of an inch off. Um, at least for like these two holes going together right there, it's supposed to be 2.5. And this one is like 2.6, 2.7. The guy finally got back to me last night on what he wants to do about the, uh, geez, I didn't realize I lowered that last night, about the header and stuff. Obviously, we can't use the header, so that's a no-go. He's going to have to throw that away. Uh, can't use the coilovers because he doesn't have the right strut forks, like I said. So, we're just going to put the stock front struts back on and put the stock header back on, and then we're just going to finish the rest of the exhaust and the brakes. So, uh, it's still some work. Um, 
just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm honestly kind of disappointed that he bought this type of stuff for such an original car. I was hoping it would have been a little bit better quality stuff, but um, it's not my car. Maybe I just uh, care about DH too much as if that's weird or not. I don't know, whatever. But uh, it is what it is, so we're going to get this stuff done, keep working, um, get it taken care of. So, I mean, my issue with eBay exhaust is not the piping. The piping is, like, always pretty darn good stuff. Where else are you going to get mandrel bent like stainless steel and all that for a hundred bucks it's just the muffler that's so trashy because the fact that they don't have resonators or anything like that and those mufflers have no internal baffling like no fiber packings or nothing that's why they sound so bad um but whatever not my car let's get to work So I'm not really filming too much of this um, in detail because I've done this stuff a thousand times and figure maybe you guys are getting a little bored of it and it's just hot and I'm trying to get this car done. Uh, the guy's already had it here a couple of days. Uh, he said it's no hurry, but to me it is a priority to get the car out, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get these rear brakes put on, put on the back half of the exhaust because that's hopefully the only thing I mean hopefully the exhaust even fits. I have to try and break these bolts loose after the cap. And if that comes undone then the rest of the exhaust should fit uh, from their back uh, if not then I'll probably just have to cut and weld something but that's not a big deal so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these brakes the exhaust and yeah that's pretty much all I can do with this car and we can get this thing out of here at least until the guy gets some uh, the right coilovers so I'm just moving on to the exhaust because I can't do the rear brakes I try getting the rotors off um, like the screws out because this car still had the factory screws broke both of my impact screwdriver things so uh, that's SOL one of them snapped clean off in this one so we're working on drilling that out but yeah so this is the last thing I can do to this car if any of this even fits because uh, the way this whole car has been going it's gonna be my luck that this isn't the right exhaust for the car either um, but I don't know we'll see it at least has a test pipe I can't get the cat bolts off because they're completely rusted uh, they're just starting around so I'm not gonna try and risk it and uh, do that so it's gonna sound like hot dog poop going full eBay with no cat slash resonator just this ridiculous test pipe uh, I don't get why people run these to be honest why these things are even a thing yeah I'm getting really bummed on this so like I can't do three quarters of the work that this car was uh, here for because none of it fits and or it's all the wrong stuff so definitely one of those you lose some type situations not so much the win some so let me show you why these ebay mufflers are absolute garbage and why they sound so bad just take a listen to how this sounds when i just tap it Ooh, that's super hot it's hollow there's a silencer but there's no sound packing inside of this thing like at all so that's why these sound so raspy and so bad but uh whatever i don't know how well you guys can see this but this is just another uh exciting adventure on the course of this car so i got the exhaust all hung up and this is the only flange that does not line up and i've tried rotating it every which way i can up here up at the cat area and this is as close as i can get it so i'm gonna have to now cut this clock it and re-weld it uh with the exhaust hung up, it didn't even fit good. I had to modify it a little bit just to even get it to hang up to begin with like I just showed you guys. But now that it's all welded up, uh, the muffler kind of tweaks out to the right a little bit here at the tip. And then back by the S underneath the back seats, uh, it hangs down low because there's no way to hang it up because there's no hangers up there. And then only two of the three rear hangers uh, hang up so uh, I think the moral of this whole video now is don't buy the cheapest stuff on eBay. Out here a few hours later, uh, it is nicer out now so I can actually stand out here to bleed this cooling system. Right away I noticed though that taking off the radiator cap, there's a bunch of like, I don't know, chunky stuff. It looks like maybe somebody's used radiator uh, stop leak or something before, which is interesting because this looks like a brand new radiator. Like it is glossy black, there's no fins that look damaged on it. But whatever, we're gonna try and bleed this, see if there's any air in the cooling system, and I guess just idle it for a while, and see if it gets hot. We'll let the AC run while we're doing it too, 
because he said that it doesn't do it uh, supposedly it doesn't do it when it's just driving but only when the AC is on and he's driving so it could just be that this car makes a lot of heat there's a lot of stuff going on under here and when he brought it over the other day it was about 115 so you know some older cars just can't take the heat but uh, a cooling system should should still work so let's try bleeding this really quick and oof I forgot the exhaust let's let's hear how bad this sounds It's, it, at idle, it's not very loud, so. That silencer just does not look good either. Ooh, I don't know. Seems definitely a little noisy in the head, though. It's coming from, like, right here. Almost at uh, operating temperature. AC blows ice though. That's nice. That ticking went away though, now that it's almost warmed up. So, I don't know, maybe it's just an oil viscosity thing. I don't know what oil he's running in here. I know he's a bit low on oil, but I don't have any oil here to top it off for him. Okay, no, I'm not revving it anymore. That's all you guys get. That's all I I don't want to piss off the neighborhood. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, no leaks. That's a good sign. Look at that sunset though. Looking pretty. And I'm sure you can see all my crap on my lens. I got little sparkles everywhere. I don't know why. It's like very dirty. Oh well, good thing it's a lens cover and I can just replace that. Uh, up. No, one big bubble. Give it a few minutes, see what happens. So I just realized this thing has the factory radio, and it actually works. So we'll turn it off. And I think, oh, yeah, the antenna still works too. Let me turn this back on. Dang, this is the first time I've seen a DA that actually has that still working. That is rad. Car's holding temp pretty steady so far. I don't know, maybe I'll have to go spin around the block. He said it was when he was on the freeway, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna swing this thing around the block really quick, see if I can't get it to act up. I bled it for about 20 minutes. The only thing I noticed is that the radiator fan itself did not seem to kick on, um, although the condenser fan was blowing the whole time since I had the AC on. Let me put you guys up here. So that is my only concern, is maybe the radiator fan isn't working. Um, I don't, I don't know. We'll just spin around the block. I gotta be careful driving this thing um, because there is no license plate on it. He has a paper tag right here, but the window is tinted, the hatch window is tinted, so I can't really, um, can't really freaking tape that up there. So the temp is starting to creep up. It's about a little over halfway. Let's even see if this radiator fan's even on. And it is not, so I think that's gonna be one of our main issues. Okay, let's get this back to the house real quick. Okay, so I turned the AC off and came right back up the street to the house and it's back at operating temp. So did the fan kick itself on? Condenser fan is on, so why, even though the, why is the condenser fan on when the other, when the AC's off? Well, let's break at the voltmeter, check for voltage at this fan plug real quick. All right, so I'm getting 14 volts at the connector right now, so that means it should be sending a signal, uh, which means that the fan itself may have just burned out. So I'm gonna go grab some wire really quick and try and jump it to the battery and see if it actually kicks on. Okay, so I used a little alligator clip and some wire to jump it to the connector in there. I about shocked the piss out of myself and the fan does not kick on, so 14 volts to the connector on the female side, or on the male side, so from the harness. So it's getting the voltage, the fan's just not turning on no matter what, so fan is dead. So diagnose, problem solved. Well guys, I am going to uh, cut this video off here. Uh, yeah, not a success story with this car, unfortunately. We got some work done. 
I'm not stoked on the stuff that was done to it, honestly, and I'm not stoked that I wasn't able to do the full job because I just, I feel really bad about that. I hate not being able to finish what I started. So, like I said, it's one of those where you win some, you lose some, and this is one of the ones that I'd say I more or less lost. But hopefully you guys found it enjoyable. If you did, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments down below. Oh, shoot, yeah, hopefully next video the Del Sol will be totally polished up and that'd be nice, get that looking fresh. Uh, I want to say that I will, I am planning to be at the Dead Bee Garage meet thing, whatever it's called, um, coming up here on September 12th. I will try to be there with both the uh, Del Sol and the Integra and maybe, you know, maybe if non-Hondas are welcome, I haven't really read the flyer, I'll bring the Miata out too and we'll see if we can get a couple people out there to take my cars with me. But uh, anyways guys, do what you love, figure out the rest. I still got two Integra stickers. As of this moment, I have two Integra stickers. So order them up. Five bucks shipped. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.